you. We've all been there, you catch a glimpse of smoke circling in your rear view mirror and you instantly panic. But not all exhaust smoke is bad, so let's take a look at the combinations of visible emissions from your exhaust and what they mean. Black smoke. The darker smoke emitted from the exhaust is generally nothing to worry about and is linked with the balance of combustion controlled by the ECU. A darker visible exhaust gas is due to an overly rich fuel mixture, created when the air fuel ratio descends below the optimum ratio. The spark at ignition can only combust a certain amount of fuel in a cycle, so unburnt fuel is pushed out into the exhaust system and is combusted downstream of its intended combustion chamber. These conditions can be caused by a leaking fuel injector, a blocked fuel return pipe, a broken oxygen or airflow sensor, or a fuel pressure regulator stuck closed. A dirty air filter will also prohibit clean air from making it through to the combustion chamber. Not only will this constrict the volume of air entering the cylinders, it will also make for less efficient combustion. Blue smoke Blue-looking smoke can be found in cars that have unwanted oil mixing with the air-fuel mixture. This means there's a contaminant with the cylinders and it's combusting along with the air and fuel. This cross-contamination is caused by engine wear to the cylinders, pistons and valves, along with failed seals. A damaged valve stem, seal or guide will also allow oil to make its way down from the valve train above the cylinder head while a damaged piston ring will allow oil from the crankcase to squeeze its way upwards and into the cylinders. The differing pressures within the combustion chamber throughout the engine cycle will lead to oil being sucked through any leaks in the same way that the air-fuel mixture is sucked in via the opening of the inlet valve. This can lead to lack of compression within the cylinders and increased pressure within the crankcase, resulting in decreased power. Blue smoke can be common in modified and turbocharged cars. By turning up the power output in an engine, more stress is applied to each component, increasing wear and the possibility of oil leaks. Turbochargers themselves can also fail, allowing the oil used to lubricate the turbine to spill from bad seals into the cylinders along with the compressed air, adding to the air-fuel mixture contamination. White smoke. White-looking smoke probably isn't smoke at all, but steam. And this can potentially be nothing bad. Or you could be a mile or two away from an engine replacement. You may notice that from a cold start, white smoke will emanate from the exhaust tips. This is nothing to worry about and is created by vapor from combustion. If your car is fully warmed up, the ambient temperature is reasonable, and if your car is still producing steam, however, you could be looking at head gasket failure or even a crack cylinder head or block from overheating. The head gasket is designed to keep the oil and coolant systems apart, along with cementing the cylinder head and combustion chambers together. A split in the gasket will send liquids into places they shouldn't be, and if a head gasket fails in a particular area, coolant will enter the cylinders. The engine will then try to compress and combust water, leading to potentially catastrophic engine damage and also steam pouring out of the exhaust. The size of the leak will dictate how much steam is produced, but often when a head gasket fails, you won't be able to see out of the back window due to your car suddenly morphing into an actual steam engine. If that's the case, then pull over as quickly as you can and pray to the car gods. So there you have it, the differences between engine smoke colors and what they're trying to tell you. Happy smoke diagnosing. Make sure you hit the bell icon at the bottom of this video to be notified whenever we release a new video. The BMW M2 and we're going to teach you the differences and how to initiate them. Yeah!